This Good conference morning. will now be recorded. Uh, so, uh, hi, Radha. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Right. Uh, so, quickly, please give your inter uh, introduction. We shall start. Okay. Okay. Uh, I am Radha Vaikar, basically from Bangalore. I am here from almost 10 years. I have completed my BCom MBA with HR in finance and was working with one of the recruitment uh, firm called GKHR Consulting from past one and ten, one year, 10 months. But due to mm -hmm. some personal reason, I had left the job and uh, 13 June was my last working day. So mm -hmm. my job responsibility was completely into recruitment, end-to-end -end recruitment I have done. Mm -hmm. um, in my family, my husband is there and with the uh, two kids. Okay. Thank you so much. So Thank who you. told you about success factors? Uh, my husband, actually, when we were working in GKHR consulting, we were using success factor for, you know, just uploading the profiles and with, for some other stuff. So Providence okay. was one of our, my client for that. We used to uh, British telecom was also there. So for both mm -hmm. the companies, we use success factor to upload the profiles okay. and to see the job descriptions and all okay thank you yeah right uh, sai kumar can you please introduce yourself yeah hi uh, my name is sai kumar uh, i am from malkas Gidi. Uh, i have completed my uh, post graduation in the year of 2022 so i have three years of experience in ar calling accounts receivable so one year from infinix uh, private limited now i am currently working with Cipro. So mm -hmm. that's all. Okay. Yes, Alok, uh, can you also introduce yourself? Yes. Uh, so I have <clears throat> about, <clears throat> just give me a second, my voice is still. Okay. <clears throat> so, yes, I have uh, about uh, eight and a half years of experience, and uh, primarily I've been working into HR as a HR VP for some time. Uh, in the last four years, five years, I've moved into HRIS role. Currently, we are work, I'm working in Nuvoco Vista, uh, taking mm -hmm. care of uh, all the success factors. So, from the employer, from the functional side. So, I okay. um, would like to you know, get certified. That is what is my aim right now. Understood, Alap. Thank you so much for the introduction. Uh, right, uh, I have few others also joining. Uh, Jenna, can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Hi. Yes. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm fine. So, a very good morning and welcome to the session. Can you please quickly introduce yourself and uh, how you get to know about success factors? Um. Okay, uh, my name is uh, Jagbandu Jaina, and um, I uh, I started my career in uh, human resource only, and eventually I get into this success factor. Almost uh, 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 almost four to five years I'm working in success factor, but still I am not a certified consultant. I know this uh, thing, uh, but for this uh, you know uh, certification purpose, I wanted to go for this uh, uh, training session and all. That is the reason okay. I have, uh, yeah. Okay, good decision. Thank you so much. So I can quickly start our session uh, because if Rather there are Michael few other- Myself and Jagbandu are uh, colleagues. Okay. Uh, should yeah. we wait or is any other one from your team or uh, has to join should we wait or we can start i think we should start um, uh, okay. like subu subu is the right person who can uh, tell us whether uh, anyone is joining or not <laughs> okay uh, just give me a moment let me check that okay
uh, right so one or two people has to join but anyhow i will take their introduction at the end meanwhile i will be starting with the session i don't want to waste others time as well so uh, here we have gathered here to discuss on sap success factors sap success factors as you know it's an hris system and you are all aware of what is the hris process what does it contain is all about the human resource management okay so human capital management or human resource management so there are multiple companies using different different hr systems you know about sap success factors there are also other systems like workday sum total workforce so these are all hr systems okay and there is oracle right so these are all the systems and we prefer to learn sap success factors why what is the reason behind learning this sap success factors is right now with the global there are only two things that are competing one is work the other one is success factors then why don't we go for work day why we are looking for sap success factors before i come to work day i will discuss with you very three key things of success factors three key points okay what are those points is the first thing is sap success factors is an globally accessible system what i mean by globally accessible system let's say suppose we are manager okay i am a manager i took a one week vacation i am away from the system i am traveling i am on a vacation mode okay now one of my reporting employee need urgent approval what happens he has to wait until i come back if he can wait he will get that payment into the next month pay, uh, pay slip or payroll if he can't wait and his pay is going to affect then what happens is it is bad on my part that i did not approve it on time or i did not take an immediate action so at this situation until i touch my laptop until i am at the system should i wait to do it in success factors this is not the case your mobile supports success factors you will simply get a notification in the mobile app of success factors requesting for approval any time you can just open and click uh, review the details and approve it so mobile if you have an internet you can make it done let's say you don't even install or download the app of success factors so how can you do it so success factors also supports you to open your success factor system in google chrome you need to just enter the url copy pasting in google chrome you enter your user id and password automatically your system opens again you can go and approve there so only thing that is needed for success factors is internet nothing else if you have a good network wherever you are there in the globe you are on an island or you are somewhere at the remote corner of the world but if you have an internet you can open success factors and approve things make it done on time so this reduces the gaps and the misunderstanding or miscommunication between the organization and maintains an healthy employee relationship with the employer so global accessible system we have you open laptop you have internet you can log in you open mobile application you can log in or you open google chrome you can log in now second thing okay so this is most or easily understandable system easily understandable system or i can say flexible system as well for whom it need to be easy for me i am a developer or i am back end consultant configuration i have to take the risk any system i touch as per the technology 
even though it is difficult i have to code i have to write this that i have to set up some settings i have to take the risk but for whom it should be easy it should be easy for a business user a business user is a client who starts using your system let's say you have an hr hr team is there this team started working on something uh, they are hiring people to hire new people in the system there is a simple transaction the word is very easy add a new employee if you search with this transaction in the system i'm just logging it into the demo system which we do have just a moment so this is a system this is a transaction place add a new or something simple transactions they are nothing uh, very specific giving some uh, words alphabets all together and keeping in code transaction codes nothing like that it's very understandable language transactions we are using here so this easily understandable system for your business user if they want to do particular thing they have search if they wanted to see some action item something here they have certain quick cuts favorites easy accessible things on the home page itself they no need to again search in the here almost everything will be there here one click away okay so this system looks very easy why is searching a transaction you can ask me do we need to remember these transactions do we need to remember these transactions no need no need i am typing add this is in search engine optimization the transactions which are with add all are coming here i can even search out of them if i don't remember it what is the need to write it a uh, note on it or store it somewhere save it somewhere transaction no need simply search engine optimization however the google works okay the same way this is also going to work for us so this is the easily understandable system for business user the same way not only for business user the another benefit of success factors is as a consultant if i want to do some configuration relevant also i can also search in the same way but i understand the technical terminologies of it whereas business user has a different set okay in the same system i can do my configuration and the business user can do their work so here we have this easily understandable flexible system for us the third thing is security right this is a system you are opening anywhere you want how will the system get security what happens if someone hacks the system and update or delete some employee data right employee data we are maintaining it what the security does is remember every login is audited every login is in audit in success factors you know we can take a report of how many times a user id logged in and when they have logged out from the system this is possible login and log out data we can take it login items failure we can take it okay and if you do some changes on anything clearly with the stamp we will get their name with the time stamp itself you will get their name i am simply showing you an example right now from the system right right here you see updated by so and so person on this day on this date and this year and this is exact a time stamp so everything in the system captures the date and who did it so change history is maintained this is a good thing you know why because sometimes data can be deleted how we can identify who did it for these things this is the security along with this 
success factors also provides us another concept called role based permissions with this what happens is who is supposed to see what that is decided as a configuration consultant i can see many things but as a business user or hr you will see only to your country employees some other hr in sydney can see only the employees of uh, australia we don't give any access they can only see other employees names that means first name last name of indian employees that's it they cannot make any changes or they cannot do anything but on their own country employees they can do it so in one system you can maintain multiple countries employees and configure multiple countries localizations and also give access to the respected target population so this is all in one system is happening just because of success factors so that is the security we are setting for each and every role in the system we define what they have to see we define what they should not also see in the system okay so these are the three key points that make success factors an good system or a competitor uh, or a yeah. first I, place I, sorry for interruption uh, yeah. just just from my understanding uh, let's say someone is changing some roles and permissions is there any hmm. provisions to uh, take that report like who have uh, changed any uh, certain criteria in rbp right good question you see rbp is not something we are giving it to everyone rbp is only given to an certified success factors consultant rbp any time you remember first if a client comes for you for the implementation so you will do it your own when go live is happening it has to be moved to support also in the support you give it to consultant not to the business user we never give it to the hr team or employees or anyone the hold of rbp will be with the consultant who is developing the system or later who comes as a certified consultant of success factors only for them we will give rpp that's the first condition that was set up so that no one disturbs rbp because it is the whole heart of the system so second yes. thing is if rbp is changed if something has been changed the new application which is just the, this year release where it is showing us the change comparison you can compare the previous version of rbp and the latest version of rbp and it will highlight immediately what has been changed that is possible as this rbp is given to only one person in control uh, obviously you know who changes means that person what he changed means you can see the comparison okay. right i hope That's... i answered your question yes. yeah right so success factor system is competing with others with these three points and standing at one now i also told you forget about all workday is also our competitor but you have to identify the business of workday is mostly into us but success factors is europe uh, asia pacific uh, other countries also they are giving the support to the uh, us indians uh, but they are not allowing uh, us to implement the projects of workday that's where it is lacking that uh, marketing or lacking that position from success factors so that's a way different from us and if we want to also try to see we can support with issues of that system which is same like our success factors also in supporting employee central or whatever it is in cloud but we don't have the complete hold of it we can never hold that system because the authority is not given to india i, I that are the reasons are that that is an off track i cannot say right now so we have the system for development support everything sap labs in india are supporting us so that's why every person we can completely hold the system and make it ready right so now 
this is fine you are learning in good system sap success factors and in this success factors there are 14 modules which module are you going to learn first let us identify what is this 14 modules ec employee central rcm recruiting management rmk recruiting marketing onboarding performance management and goal management learning management system succession planning career development planning workforce analytics compensation variable pay and uh, employee central payroll sac analytics these are all modules of success factors these many modules are there for us and out of this let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen one is missing what is that we missed here sap jam i'm sorry yeah so these are all 14 modules of success factors and if you observe which module are we willing to learn i'm i always suggest to go with employee central why employee central is is the foundation basic core everything i will tell you rcm this is recruiting for this recruiting we post some jobs to post a job a job requisition has to be ready job requisition has to get the data from this position position is part of ec so from ec position will be created as a requisition and pushed to rcm so the rcm base is in ec okay rmk is based on rcm onboarding is also need some data from rcm then it moves towards ec then pmgm needs some user data suppose i have 10 members in a team i have to rate everyone I should know what is their names, what is their employee ID, what is their gender, email ID, and all these at least in my module. Performance while I am do, giving some rating. So this kind of user data is again picked from EC. LMS also needs user data to assign courses. Okay. Then SP, succession planning needs position data. Career development planning needs EC data. Workforce analytics to prepare some reports and pull out from the system. It needs CC data. Compensation needs CC data. Compensation information of the employee to plan for budgeting next year, how much it should be. And then variable pay is also same case. Employee central payroll totally depends on EC. Without EC, ECP cannot be implemented. And SAC also same case. SAP JAM also same case. It needs all user data from EC. Okay, this is fine. Do we need to learn EC just because every other module needs data from EC? It is not that case. Remember, when the other module is in need of EC, when other module is in need of EC, you need to know that's where the scope is enlarged. That's where you learn other modules integration with EC. If you learn that integration, seamless integration, we call it as inside the systems we connect all these and push the data from ec so that other modules start work so when you know ec you will know integration when you know integration you will know the other module so you have to start with ec then the ripples will go till where you can learn if you now start from rcm you have to come back to ec and then go to other other modules so instead of that, if you start with EC, it will help you. That's the main reason I will suggest EC to learn because that's a base and basic for other things. Okay. Then the second point is for all other modules, the implementation will take at least two to three months. Okay. In two to three months, everything will be set. But for EC, four months or five months depends on the countries we do. If data is more, we will take more time. So our work nature also I will decide. So here, as EC is in data repository, as EC is a data repository, I call it as a data bank. 
we store the data we delete we update we modify the data of employee basing on this data we will get many issues we will never sit idle if we touch ec complete work but if you see rcm rmk two months or three months project will be completed they will go and sit in bench and they don't have any work again manager will ask them to come and work in ec because there are more issues in ec so ec has a lot of work or ec will keep on making you learn it will never uh, never ending process of learning so that's the reason to make yourself grow ec is the best thing it will keep on coming how much you do it will keep on coming that's the second reason i will tell people to learn it okay fine ec is good we will learn it data is stored in ec we are discussing that ec is a data bank obviously what we will do in bank we will put some amount we will deposit whenever we need we will withdraw the same way we will hire an employee and whenever he is promoted or whenever we, he is resigned we terminate them we will change them so basing on situation the data will be changed every time in ec now i call this data repository if someone says ec what is the definition of ec is data bank other definition i say it as organization information plus employee information what is difference between employee information and organization information some information employee provides from his end some information will be added from the company end like what position is created by the company position will be provided business unit division department these are all organization information parts then what employee can give is his personal details first name last name date of birth these are all the details together this way is going to form ec for us employee provided details we will incorporate with them to the company details that's how ec is formed company will give him promotion demotion these are all from the company employee will have some different stages at the life he will add that information in his personal info so both together we will be maintaining in the system for employee so that he can refer and it will be useful for the system records okay so that is the thing which i just wanted to know uh, from you till here is and uh, do you have any questions no i don't think hello from my yes so actually there is a power cut uh, in my home so i was missed okay. more uh, two to three minutes and that's it okay now from the uh, anyhow this session is this session is getting recorded you can listen to it as well okay okay Hi, Radha. Uh, which sure. module is SAC? I I didn't get you. Uh, SAC module. Uh, could you tell more about that? So I didn't get that. SAC is in Cloud Analytics, which is upcoming module for Success Factors. It's uh, an upcoming because I don't. Yeah, Workforce Analytics. Right now, we are working on with the reports, but this analytics is going to change completely the. the uh, what i can say the future of success factors and analytics both so it is like a it it is uh, similar to data analytics uh, what you going yes. to include in that okay. exactly thank you right so in success factors do we need to learn xml language there is xml language is there any need to learn it this is the first question i always hear from people there is no need that you need to learn xml language even though you wanted to learn it there is very simple thing to learn just an open tag and end tag that will be available from the xml and we will get uh, xml 
already from the success factors. You don't need to prepare something. We will have this RDS, nothing but rapid deployment solution systems from SAP. They will predefined give us the data models or XMLs. We call them as data models or XMLs. So this is automatically provided from them. Any changes like labels or mandatory yes or no, we can change. But for that also, we got some screens in the system itself. No need to refer somewhere. We already got those screens into the system. Okay. So here, RDS is kind of rapid deployment solution. Every company uses, not only uh, one company. Every company uses before any project comes. They will use that system and showcase to the client. And later, once they agree, the first setup will be RDS. Upon that, we will do the customization. Slowly, we will do whatever the client wanted to have changes. We will do on those systems. So that's how an implementation goes. Okay. So any half success factors will follow the uh, methodologies, activate methodologies, uh, the phases we do have, prepare, uh, explore then realize deploy i will explain all these topics one by one to you so i can uh, explain even more better in opening one by one session for you so as this is a demo i am just limiting myself to these things only where i can just tell you what is success factors how it is useful and where you can reach with that okay so these are all the things from my end just uh, try to explain you and um, for you from the training, what you are going to get is recording of the session you will get. Then you will get topic wise. Uh, first, uh, you will get the guide end to end implementation guide from SAP. I will provide you that guide and then daily topic wise document uh, in a very understandable manner. I will give you that document which is written by me. So you will get that daily topic document and you will also receive a task to practice. For task, you will get the system to practice. Practice system is also given. And you, if you opt for, we can even take a mock interview with the, your skills, how you are there at the end of the training. After training is completed, we will give that. And you will have total 25 days of training and daily one hour for the session. So these are the things from the training you are going to get. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Uh, hi, this is Radha here. Uh, yes. As uh, I just want to convey, like I am from a commerce background, like BCom MBA. So mm -hmm. do I need to uh, learn anything from the technical side? It will be too technical for me or it will be like, you know, uh, because when I see this XML language and all these are these are not I'm not aware of these all things. So is this the technical terms I have to uh, prepare for uh, like I have to prepare for it first and then go ahead with the success factor or how it is? Uh, you don't need to learn anything basically. If you know the HR terminology, that is fine for me. Uh, to be frank, XML is nothing for us. It's just 0.1% out of 100% of the configurations. It is there. I have to inform that it is there. But I don't say you have to learn it. It's nothing technical here. It's technical completely things, functional. Uh, okay. <coughs> nothing. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Uh, this is Sai. Yes, Sai. So actually, I'm from the accounts receivable department. So, hmm. is the success factor is uh, I'm able to learn quickly or uh, like uh, the same person uh, I also got like uh, is there any language we have to learn instantly? Uh, same answer for you also i'm like I don't frank have... you don't need to you don't need to learn anything technical here total if you try to understand it is all about hr terminology only and it's functional it's nothing technical here 
Quoi que. Um, hi, uh, this is Jena here. I have yes. a question. Um, as initially I told you that this is um, this is purely for certification purpose. We will be conducting, like we will be appearing for this training. So I uh, wanted to understand how this thing is going to help us in certification. That is the first one. And the second one is, is this module uh, is going to cover the reporting system, the canvas or table report, anything? These are the uh, two more uh, questions. Yes, 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 I got it. So the first thing is this session will help you to do the certification because I will highlight the things in between the training where you will get questions as well and how the questions will be. I will clearly explain those things also in certification how you are going to get it. And the second thing you are asking about the reporting system. Yes, obviously we will go for reports on the table and uh, canvas also in the session. Uh, one, uh, one session is further to explain how you can pull the reports from the system. Okay. Uh, rather, so uh, do we also get to know where we can, you know, prepare the canvas reports? Uh, how do we prepare the canvas reports or maybe some different type of reports that we want to generate? Uh, completely that reporting we cannot give you but uh, the basic structure of reporting only because if you get into that that reporting it's wholesome a module for us so that will not be covered under EC so is is that covered under WFA yes yes exactly so all the reporting is under the WFA most likely yes okay Uh, and and uh, Radha just wanted one one more input from your end. So uh, do you include EC and time off since we haven't covered the time off here? So do we include time off here in the EC? Uh, yes, the time off will be included that to the basic uh, level because uh, time sheet is totally now a new module which is going to update soon as a time tracking module for us. So the uh, whatever the basic structure of uh, time off is there, we will explain it. But it is now with the time tracking, slowly it is moving, not at mood, but uh, slowly it will move in the next year. So, uh, okay, so that includes the time, uh, the leave and the uh, time sheet and the attendance part. Yes, it includes to the basic level, not the next, uh, because the other level is with the new module. Okay. Uh, and do you uh, we'll uh, be learning oh, oh. all? Sorry, go ahead, hello. Yeah, and just wanted to understand if you also, you know, help us with in terms of giving uh, any uh, practice questions for the tests uh, for clearing the certifications. Actually, your task uh, uh, is daily will be in real time task which I faced, I will give it to you. That's what you have to do and come for the next sessions. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So uh, do we, are we covering all the 14 uh, modules or uh, it's like only EC will be covering? It's only EC. We cannot even, even I cannot do 14 modules in a lifetime. It's a big thing, so we are only okay. cover EC. So basic of uh, basic of like uh, fourteen modules. What are the basics of all? Uh, the, uh, no, 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 no. But we'll be only See. focusing on the EC side. Yes, these are all modules. Uh, there is different different things with one one, and uh, only EC is allowed to have a good practice system. Then you take other modules. Uh, you need to buy it somewhere from SAP only because they don't even release some systems for practice also in other modules. Okay. 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 So BC is like uh, EC is like a core and of uh, like proper foundation. That's why we are going ahead with the EC module, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. 
Hello, uh, actually we are working on the EC only, right? Uh, when we are working on the live projects, like Employee Central, only we are working on that one module, Employee Central. Uh, I cannot decide what you are going to work. I can give you only the training in whichever module you opt for. I suggested EC. You can ask Subu to arrange other demos for other modules also. Listen to them and whatever you choose, you can choose. After that, whatever you keep in your resume that you would like to work on, you were trained on, that's how the company will decide and give you some work on that uh, module. Okay, okay. Lazy is a uh, basic thing, right? Yes, yes. It is core and foundation of success factors. Okay, okay, got it. Uh, yes, I hope we are good with this and uh, as it is Sunday, I don't want to waste most of your time. Uh, this is a demo session which you you should try to understand the pro uh, how we are going with the training and how good the trainer is, whether she is slow, bit fast, you can view that uh, comments to Subu. Is it okay with the same pace? You can also tell him and also give your available time and when you would like to start this training to Subu so that we can plan the sessions and go ahead. Okay, so that is the thing. If any other, if there are no other things, you can just uh, drop off from the session. Okay, thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.